here is the title block we're going to create. Put the dimension of the title block as you see here. There's many ways to draw this. I'm going to show you a method using the line command. Before we start, make sure that the following are activated or on. That includes the dynamic input, F12 is on, and color tracking is on. Your grid is on, everything else you can see is off. Don't worry too much about the object snap at this time. Pick the line command. The first point we're going to start is at the origin, which would be 0, 0. When you type in 0, 0, you'll see the data showing up on your screen by your mouse. Then polar tracking is on, so you're going to hover till you see a green dashed line, meaning you're drawing in the direction of 0 degrees. You type in the length of the line, which is 10 and a half, which you type in as 10.5, and then hit the enter key and it's ten and a half inches long. You point up to you see the green polar tracking line and type in seven and three fourths, which is seven point seven five. And then repeat to the left ten and a half and point down and type in seven three fourths or I would like what I like to do is type in C, which stands for close, and the line command ends. We're gonna draw these lines here and the line at the top using what's called offset. Offset is up here. Click offset. The first thing offset says on your mouse is specify offset distance or through. Let's make the height of the title block, which is 5 eighths. Type in 5 over 8. You could also type in fractions or decimals. Hit enter. This mouse says select object to offset. You're going to pick the very bottom line. Click it. Now you have two choices, as it says on your mouse. Specify point on side to offset. We obviously want it to be up. So you click above the dash line you selected, anywhere really, and click. Now hit enter to finish the command. And you have an offset of the line you just met, drew of 5 eighths, as you see here. To offset these three lines, we're going to use 1. So pick offset, distance of 1, enter. This time pick this vertical line, you point in, not out, point in to the left. The command is still active. So pick the line that just appeared, click to the left again. Pick the line that just appeared, click to the left again. Those are all three sections that you see here, so we'll stop the command by hitting enter. Use the offset command again at a distance of four. So type in four, enter. Pick the last line drawn. Now, enter to stop the command. We don't need all these line segments, so we're going to use a trim command to remove the lines we don't need. So pick trim. It says select objects or select all. To select all, which we're going to do, just hit enter. Now it says on your mouse, select objects to trim. You pick the parts of the lines you don't want. Watch what happens. It trims down to this line right here. So just pick them all and then hit enter. Now we need to offset the sections of the title block. These are each one eighth of an inch, which I forgot to tell you. So click offset, type in one eighth of an inch or 0.125, enter. And starting from the top, work your way down. You might need to get closer to see what you're doing until all the lines are included. And then hit enter to finish the command. And our title block is finished. In the next video, I'll show you how to add text.